are very common reactions that we are overwhelmed with our emotions seeing our photos are very well presented in a slideshow. It is sometimes inspiring to see our captured memory images, right? So hello again internet, this is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today I am happy to show it to you guys how to create a very smooth and a very unique falling photo slideshow inside After Effects. I'm gonna create a new composition and I will name it main one 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second 20 seconds duration and I will click OK I will create another new composition and I will name it placeholder one but this time I will change the width here to 2000 and the height is 2000 pixels same frame rate 30 frames and the duration is 20 seconds click ok and i will go to assets folder open it up go to my image open the photo folders and drop the image here i will scale down a bit and i will drag it down go to composition create new composition and i will name it frame 2000 by 2000 pixels and I will click OK. I will double click this one. Make sure that the stroke is 80 pixels and the fill is none. And I will go again to composition, create a new composition and I will name it frame. And I will click OK. I will drop down this frame one and placeholder one. So now it has been framed already i will just drag it down so outside of the folder photos and i will close this down and i will go to composition create a new composition and i will name it back i will go to layer create new solid and i want this to be the back and i want it this color okay and i will open the main one i will drag down the frame and also the back highlight both layers press s on my keyboard and make this 30 percent and highlight this frame parent the back to the frame make both of these layers a 3d layer and then highlight the back press p for the position change the z position to about five pixels and then go back to the frame and i will check if there is a back already on our image there you go so i'll have to put this back to zero i will just zoom it a bit and then close i will just change this color to zion in order for us to easily identify which is the back and which is the front duplicate this four or five times and move this below and also duplicate the placeholder five times and then highlight these placeholders and then double click it to open it up go to placeholder 2 delete the image and go to your assets folder open the image folder go to photos and drag down your second photo in here and just drag it down a bit 
and press S to scale it up a bit. Open the placeholder 3, drag this image down to your timeline and delete this one. And then press S on your keyboard to scale it down. And move it on this side a bit. I think that's good enough. Open the placeholder 4 and drag the image for here. Delete this image and press S on your keyboard and scale it down. Same with the placeholder 5. Go to the frame and also duplicate this one to about five times. Highlight all this frame and double click it. Highlight the placeholder one in here and click and hold Alt on your keyboard and replace the placeholder one to placeholder two and open the frame 3 highlight the placeholder one here and replace it with the placeholder 3 open this frame 4 highlight the placeholder one replace it with placeholder 4 same with the other two highlight it and replace it you also have to click alt and hold and replace this frame highlight this frame here and replace it with frame here highlight this frame and go to frame 2 drag it down to replace the other one same with this replace it with frame 3 do this to all the other frame compositions you have to replace it all I will go to project and create a new folder and I will name it scene 1. I will highlight these compositions and drag it to my scene 1 folder and close it. So it's better to look at because it's clean. I will highlight the frame. Right click my mouse and rename it frame 1. I will press and hold control on my keyboard highlight these frame layers press R on my keyboard for the rotation and shift P for the position I will scroll down my mouse and solo this image here and I think I will just drop it down a bit solo the frame 5 I will move it on the right side a bit I think I have to rotate it the Z position. I will move it like that and then go up and I will solo the frame 4 and I will just move it up a bit. And then go up again and I will solo the frame 3 image and I will move it on the left side. Move it up a bit. and rotate it on the Z rotation move it a bit here and then scroll up my mouse again and solo this frame to image I'll just move it down and move it on the left side a bit move it up again move up and solo this frame 1 image and I think this image is good so I will just unsolo all this compositions and close it and then I will add camera go to layer new I will just use 35mm preset camera and I will go back to layer and add null object I will make this null object a 3d layer and parent the camera to the null object 
I will open the texture image, drop down this texture on my timeline. Go to effects and preset, stylize, motion tile. I will change the output width to 500 and the output height 500. And I will check the mirror edges here. I will highlight the null object, press P on my keyboard for the position and shift R for the rotation. I will change the X rotation to about 43 and I will make this texture a 3D layer too. I will go back and close the null object. Then I will press Ctrl and hold it. Highlight the frame. Press R on my keyboard for the rotation and Shift P for the position. And I will move my playhead to about 2 seconds and 15 frames or so. It's up to you. Create a keyframe on the position and all the rotations. And then go back to the beginning and move the position on your image on the Z position. Randomly rotate it. Move it up again. Make sure that your image is out of your canvas. Scrub our playhead. Let's see. There you go. So we will move again our playhead to about 5 and 10 frames and solo this image. Create a keyframe on the position and the rest of the rotations. Move your playhead to about 3 seconds or so. Randomly change the position, probably up. And move it on the right side. And then randomly rotate it. Just like that. Let's play. Nice. Move your playhead to about 8 seconds. Scroll up your mouse, solo this image. Frame 4, create a keyframe on the position and the rotations. Go back your playhead to about 6 seconds and move your image up. And then randomly rotate it. And then move your playhead again to 11 seconds. Scroll up again your mouse. Solo the frame 3 image. Create a keyframe on the position and the rotations. And then move my playhead to about 9 seconds. And I will change the position of the image up. Probably on the left side. Randomly rotate the image. Let's see. Roll up your image again here and solo the frame to move your playhead to about 13 seconds. Create a keyframe on the position and on the rotations. Move back your playhead to about 11 and 15 frames. Move your image up. Make sure that it's out of your composition and then randomly rotate it. Move up again. Solo this image frame 1 and move your playhead to about probably 15. Create a keyframe on the position and the rotations. Then move back your playhead to about 13 and 15 frames. And randomly move your image. First move it up. Randomly again rotate it. It's up to you what is your preferable rotation. So for me, I like it this way. If you happen to encounter this kind of problem, Move your blade here and make it higher a bit. And let's see what happens. There you go. Unsolo all these layers and close it. We will try to play again. So now we are gonna close this one, create a light, go to layer, new and add light, I want the spotlight, I will click ok, change the intensity to about 90, adjust the cone angle a bit larger and I will move this angle here probably. And then I will again go to layer and I will add light. I will choose ambient light. 
I will close this one. We also want that our image as it falls, it casts shadows. And how can we do that? Go back to Spotlight. Expand this one. Go to Light Options. And turn the Cast Shadow on. Press Ctrl on your keyboard and hold it and highlight the frame like this and expand all of this and go to materials you have here seen material options just turn on the cast shadow so if you will move our playhead you can already see that there is a shadow in here if you want that your shadow will not be so harsh, you will go back to the light options and you can change the shadow darkness and the shadow diffusion. But for me, I'm satisfied with it, so it's okay. I will close this one because we're done. And we will again play this one and let's see. So actually it's up to you guys if you want to change the position or the rotation it's your options it depends on your preferences so now we're done with our tutorial and I hope guys that you enjoy watching on it and you learn something on it and for those subscribers that I have thank you very much you are so great and for those people who are still new here you can press the subscribe button, hit like, comment, and press the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I upload a video. My thoughts for today guys is that if you want to change your life, act now. Don't gamble yourself in the future. Thanks guys for watching and God bless. See you on my next video.